The Guardians in a Half Shell event or adventure is coming on December 2nd. They just dropped this with a very big blog post. I'm not going to do all of the reading for you here. I want you all to go spend some time you know, running through this. There's a lot of questions answered, but uh, there's a couple things of note in particular that I want to call out to highlight them in case you miss them uh, on your own read through. Only, it's only a game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in this video, we're going to talk about this Guardians and a Half Shell event, adventure, or whatever blog post. Uh, first and foremost, this information is preliminary. The event content may be subject to change. Okay, so this is not a contract. There's nothing binding Hero Wars from doing things in this blog post. 100% uh, accurate to this blog post. They could change it and then change it in game. It's just part of being a game developer. Very likely everything is already done and set, but some things could change. I just want to put that in there. I just want to get that out of the way. The event is from December 2nd through December 21st. It does require team level 15 to join. And a big question about the Ninja Turtles themselves are the soul stones and the unique items. So the way that these collaborations work, you have to summon the hero. If you have the hero summoned, then in the future, like in 2025, you will be able to get their soul stones and their unique items some way, uh, occasionally, again. If you don't summon them, that is get at least a one-star Ninja Turtles, which you get for free just, just for playing the adventure, by the way, then there's no way to get them in the future. It's kind of a bummer for new accounts, but... You know, it is what it is. The red items that are unique, we have a couple here shown. There are five on uh, on the higher red ranks, and there is one in orange plus four called the manhole cover. So there's basically, there's six items. You need two of all of them, except for the uh, manhole cover. So you earn those in the various shops and seasons and tasks and all of that. Uh, we'll talk about that in just a second. One cute hero interaction that I didn't think about is Dorian's vampirism does not work with the Ninja Turtles because it only works with heroes that start the battle and the Ninja Turtles don't start the battle until a second or two in uh, when Leonardo jumps into the enemy team. Additionally, Aiden does not work with the Ninja Turtles at all either. They do not share health because the Ninja Turtles do not ever stand in first position, no matter if you put them there or not. Red Rank Ninja Turtles gives you sewer treasures. This is the number one reason everyone should summon the Ninja Turtles. Even if you don't plan on leveling them up, getting them to Red Rank is super important. Three free rewards per day is absolutely incredible, including a 0.05% chance to get a totem fragment. Curious though, when those rewards reset every day, this resets at 5 a.m. your time. So it's different than the dungeon reset for you. It might be the same, depending on where you are in the world. But for uh, for the average player, look at the three free rewards resetting at 5 a.m. your in-game time. Usually it's you know after you wake up, but if you play really, really early in the morning before you go into work or something like that, just be mindful of that. Another big piece of note here is the Ninja Turtles season, whatever that ends up looking like. There will be a season pass, a free-to-play side, and a pay-to-win side. Uh, you can earn the unique skins for Ishmael and Luther in that season reward path. The skins themselves do not offer any additional stats. They're just cosmetic, purely cosmetic, making them almost worthless. Unless you really like the look of these skins, you have Master Shredder for uh, Ishmael, and then you have Casey Jones for Luther. If you use these heroes, it might not be a bad idea to get them if they don't cost you that much. They just really look cool. I imagine the years, uh, there's some special animations and all of that. I don't know of many people that use Luther, but I know a ton of players use Ishmael. Probably going to be collecting these just so that I have them. Uh, for what it's worth, I did not collect the super unique skin for Laura Croft. It was not worth the money. Um, and it was a lot of money, by the way. Of course, we've mentioned this a couple of times, but once the Ninja Turtles reach orange four rank, you cannot use Gift of Dominion to rank them up. Now, what's not mentioned here is Rarity Fair. Rarity Fair is the uh, is the thing that lets you buy up. I don't have any active right here, but it lets you buy color ranks with emeralds. It's not specifically listed here, so maybe they are letting you use it, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. Definitely ask the community managers about this. Try to get some clarification whenever we can. Another common question is, they have a unique artifact weapon. Is it going to be exclusive? to the event. Unfortunately, yes. You have to get the artifact weapon fragments from this event in the shops or in the season passes or whatever. They, of course, will be available in the future, but you, if you don't get a six-star 
weapon during this event, it will be a while before you get a six star weapon because the artifact of weapon fragments will not be in the uh, in the airship uh, artifact treasure chest. They just will never appear in here. Okay, they never will be shown up here in random. You can't buy them. You can't earn them any other way aside from during this event and any future Ninja Turtle collaboration events that we might have, which they will have them eventually. Uh, same thing can be said for the Soul Stones. Right, the Soul Stones will never show up in the Soul Atrium. Never show up in the Soul Atrium at random, and the uh, the Ninja Turtle Soul Stones will never show up in any of the Hero Soul Stone chests, like the ten pieces right here, uh, or the the fifty ones that you earn at the end of the month. These right here, fifty Soul Stones of your choice. The Ninja Turtles, as well as Lara Croft, by the way, will never show up in these boxes. Now there are three pieces of currency shown here. There's actually a fourth one that's not shown here. The Adventure Energy is the main energy that you're going to use to fight the boss battles uh, on the Adventure Map. This is not new. This is just looking like a pizza this time. It's one of those usually you need like six in order to fight each of the sub bosses. Uh, each of the uh, adventure map locations will award you medals that you use to level up your bosses and artifacts and all that. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Of course, the uh, TMNT coins. This is going to be the main event currency for the shop itself. You have the event chest. This is going to be the you know, kind of the catch all where all of the rewards dump out of at the end of the event. And this is where all the currency converts to at the end of the event has uh, some great rewards in it. We don't know exactly what's in here just yet, but we will very soon. And then later on in the month, there's this thing called uh, uh, the Turtle Festival that gives secret laboratory coins for random rewards. It's another currency that we don't really know what it is. Uh, as soon as we have that data, we will definitely share it. But yeah, boom, there we go. Now during the uh, Ninja Turtles event month, uh, season, whatever you want to call it, they're going to have uh, another one of those boss fights, the Path of the Four. It's one of those where you fight the boss Boss, and you level up the boss every time you win all the way up to rank 400. It usually is rank 300. This time it's rank 400. Okay. It's very difficult to get to rank 400, I would imagine, but you can rank up your Ninja Turtles or whatever team with the workshop here, the Dojo of Justice. The way that these fights work, and here are the rewards here in the background, is you're not given the opportunity to use every hero. You're locked in to use one specific hero, probably the Ninja Turtles, and you're not given the full list of pets. So you have a limited amount of heroes to choose from and a limited amount of pets, and that changes on the different levels as you level all the way up to level 400, Grand Prize, Absolute Elemental Spirit. That's a, a totem fragment of your choice, by the way. Uh, and as you get higher and higher, the boss who you fight will change, their strategies will change. Usually there's two or three uh, of the same fight and increasing difficulty, and then it changes to another one keeps on going all the way down to uh, rank 400. Of course, we're going to have a blog post breaking down the best teams to use for all of those with confirmed wins and everything. So don't worry about that. Uh, there are other things that you can spend the artifact medals on aside from leveling up the team itself. Well, you will need to use this to level up the team, or you will need to spend a lot of time for a very small percentage chance of winning. But uh, we'll talk about more of that whenever it does go live. You can use the medals to level up the five artifacts instead. These are kind of cute. I'm not going to go through all of them. The Material Seeker, the Scroll of Mastery, and the Change Spray are all uh, artifacts that we've seen in the past. Nothing new there. The Scroll of Mastery and the Muta Mutagenic Cube here are kind of new. It says increases rewards for Chain of Successful Battles and improves the rewards that you can get in the Turtle Festival event. That's the uh, that's the third event. Not sure yet what those actually do, but uh, whenever this event goes live and we have access to the relics tab right here, we will take a closer look at those. Now, event specific stuff that's happening throughout the course of the month. There are a, uh, a few that are happening and we have a whole schedule of events here. Of course, the uh, initial adventure unlocks on December 2nd. On December 6th, a brawl event starts. If you don't know what a brawl event is, it's maxed heroes with one hero locked in, probably the Ninja Turtles facing off against other players on your server for prizes and all of that. Uh, that's going to be a limited time event. It's going to start on the 6th, presumably either running for a week or five days or three days. We're not sure. On the 10th, the Turtle Festival with that other currency begins. Um, no images or any information about that. It looks like a brand new opportunity there. The fourth chapter, the Treasury uh, becomes available. We've seen this style of event many times before, but it's basically you earn a currency and then you turn these rewards over. There is an opportunity to get Ninja Turtle dolls 
out of these vases. The Ninja Turtle dolls have a chance to get Ninja Turtle Soul Stones. This change spray right here will convert some of the vases into golden vases, and the golden vases give five times the opportunity. So the way that you're going to earn Ninja Turtle Soul Stones, you can get up to a, a tier four from the shop, right? A, a, a four star Ninja Turtles just by buying them from the shop. You can probably get another 150 Soul Stones from the season pass, right? If you buy the golden ticket for the Ninja Turtle season, as well as the free to play side, if you earn all of that. And then from a five to a six star, you're going to have to rely on getting Soul Stones from the treasury. Now, again, not only do you have to get a Ninja Turtles doll, but you also have to get Ninja Turtle Soul Stones out of that doll. So you have to randomly find the dolls in here and then hope that you randomly get Soul Stones out of the doll. And obviously, if you have a golden vase, which gives you times five of the rewards, it would give you 15 Ninja Turtle dolls if you got one of the <laughs> golden vases as a doll. And then of those 15 dolls, you hope the majority of them give you Ninja Turtle Soul Stones. Of course, the dolls open into more dolls, so there's a good opportunity to get a bunch of Soul Stones out of there. But generally speaking, the average player will not be able to get a six-star Ninja Turtles during this event without spending a lot. Uh, okay, it's just the way it is. The way uh, what I would recommend you do is to get to a, f a five star or a four star and very close to a five star. And then in the future, when the when the events are added for additional soul stones, there's going to be a guaranteed way to get them. In uh, in the additional events for Lara Croft, it was through the Soul Atrium. There was a guaranteed drop from the Soul Atrium by spending emeralds there. It ends up being less expensive for the average player to do it that way than it is to spend on this. I do not recommend chasing Ninja Turtle dolls uh, or Ninja Turtle soul stones out of the treasury. Now, finally, on this blog post, it has all of the events themselves that we're going to be having. There's going to be five total events with a ton of tasks each. Uh, there's a bunch of currency that you can earn in here, a bunch of uh, other resources that you can earn in here. Lots of great information in here. I just wanted to uh, I wanted to highlight a couple of very important things in here that uh, you might have missed if you didn't spend some time reading this yourself. Now, we are going to be live streaming Monday through Friday, going over the event itself. The event starts on Monday, and it's going to be. I mean, it's going to be a lot of a lot of stuff is going to be happening. So expect to uh, expect some longer live streams expect a lot more uh, ninja turtle videos breaking some of this stuff down individually i uh, hope to see all of you there please subscribe if you haven't already turn on notifications to never miss a ninja turtles video i love you all good luck in dominion